The Baltimore Orioles dropped game three, four to one in Toronto, and they could not have gift wrapped the present that they just gave to the Blue Jays any stinking better than that. We'll talk about it in this one. I feel like stinking Brandon Hyde walking up the dugout steps to go talk to Fujinami. Let's have a mound visit. Let's go on! What's going on, Birdland? Baltimore Bobs here, and welcome to the Baltimore Bobs YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bobs, and I will be your tour guide in this little adventure. And in this episode, unfortunately, we have to talk about the 4-1 to loss to the Toronto Blue Jays in Toronto, Game 3. And obviously, this is right after the Baltimore Orioles wrapped up the season series. They were 7-1, and now they dropped the 7-2. and and they could not have given this game away any easier. And the storyline here is that Grayson Rodriguez has another really good outing. He goes five and two-thirds, and at the time of his exit, he had only allowed two hits and one run. One run, two hits, 1-1 one, one baseball game. He gets through the first two outs, and he's got Belt and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. up, and... To my understanding, what it looked like is he was empty in the tank, but at the same time, he wasn't going to give in. So he pitches around him, he walks both of them, and effectively exits the ball game 1-1. He goes five and two-thirds, like I said, and he's got two ducks on the pond. And he's saying to himself, hey, I got a good bullpen back here. I'll let him come in, and I'll go let him go after somebody else. Well... Fuji comes in, and he throws a four-pitch walk to juice the bases. And, you know, off the jump, it looked like he was struggling with his command. And I'm really surprised that Holt didn't come out and have a mound talk with him just off the jump because all four pitches did not look good at all. Well, the very next at bat, he ends up plunking them and walks in basically – the game-winning run, it's 2-1 Blue Jays. And to add insult to injury, he plunks the next batter. And it makes it 3-1 Blue Jays. And if it couldn't get any worse than that, routine ground ball hits the Mateo, very next batter, and he takes his eyes off the ball, and it trickles out in the shallow left, and another run stores. Just an atrocious last out of the sixth inning, 4-1 to one Blue Jays. They scored three runs on no hits, three walks, and two hit batters and an error. Reached on an error. Just an abysmal bottom half of the sixth inning, obviously after my man Grayson Rodriguez exited the game. And it's unfortunate because... You know, I'm not going to take it away from those guys, or he, his responsibility, but um, as well as he pitched, he goes five and two-thirds, two hits, three earned runs, and it's obviously because Fuji couldn't even couldn't find the strike zone. So um, two hits, three earned, three earned runs, six strikeouts, two walks, and, you know, what is the enigma of Shintaro Fujinami? One day, you know, he's going two innings, uh, you know, two strikeouts, no hits, and it's like, okay, maybe he's catching his groove, maybe he's catching his groove, and then you have outings like this where it's like, bro, what in the world is going on? A four-pitch walk, and then you hit back-to-back -back batters? I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that, and you have got to be better coming out of the bullpen in tight spots like this. And, you know, Brandon Hyde obviously wants to get him in some tougher situations. He's coming from Oakland where they weren't playing for much of anything, to Baltimore where it's a tight battle, a tight contention for the AL East. And, you know, he's just got to be better in these type of tight spots. And he was not very good at all tonight. And unfortunately, the Birds couldn't do anything after that. The Toronto Blue Jays, uh, they win the game 4-1, to one, dropping the Baltimore Orioles to 66-42. and 42. The good news is, is that, the Tampa Bay Rays lost. So the Baltimore Orioles still retain their game and a half lead in the AL East. However, um, this is a game that, you know, I'm not going to say that surely the Baltimore Orioles should have won, 
But with the way that the ball game was going, uh, they gift wrapped it to the Blue Jays, and uh, they gave them a gift. And you know, <clears throat> moving into Game Four, it doesn't really get much easier because Kevin Gaussman is uh, he's going to be pitching for the Toronto Blue Jays. He's eight and five with a three point one zero ERA, one point one three WHIP, and he's been good. And we're going to get to see Jack Flaherty, who is the newly acquired. Uh, starting pitcher from the St. Louis Cardinals, he's going to make his debut tomorrow. It's going to be a big spot. You know, it'll be interesting to see how he pitches and what he can do for the Orioles. Now, you know, we'll give him some grace because, you know, he's going to be coming over. He's got to get used to his teammates. He's got to get used to Adley Rutschman, you know, James McCann. Um, he's got to get used to all these things. But um, I'm hoping that he is as advertised and he can give us some length and, uh, you know, he'll be a great addition to this ball club. He has been pitching a lot better recently. But 66-42, and 42, the Birds dropped this one to the Toronto Blue Jays, and what stinks about it is it's not like the Blue Jays beat us. This is a just a perfect example of beating yourself, and the Birds haven't done very much of that this year. They've been real solid defensively and uh, – you know, that was just a real bad half of the sixth. And um, you hate to see it, but it is what it is, man. Like I said, what cushions the the blow is that the Rays lost as well. So we still retain that game and a half lead in the AL East. And we'll see what the Birds can do tomorrow. Jack Flaherty takes the hill. And we'll see if, uh, like I said, everything is as advertised. And he can help the Birds get to the promised land but tough one tonight guys don't sweat it we'll get back at it tomorrow 307 first pitch jack flaherty and kevin gaussman and we'll see if the birds can go ahead and win this series we don't like ties we want to win this series and we'll see if the jack flaherty can make it happen see you tomorrow birdland y'all sleep easy we'll catch you on the next one